So I'm standing here in front of our old house that we started our business in, here on Church Street in Armada. And we were here for almost 20 years. Our five children were raised here. Three of our children were born here in this home with midwives. And this is also the birthplace of Ackett's Handmade Pie Company. We had a big swing set out here. And behind here over by the pool was our, what we called the carnival hut. And it was a food trailer. And so that would be parked over here in the yard. Uh, we converted the back room over here into our little commercial kitchen. We brought the three compartment sink in. We brought the stack of ovens in. And uh, we worked real hard out of this little back room for about two years. We were busting at the seams here out of the house too. The business was really booming and it was very successful. And we knew we couldn't stay here in this residential neighborhood for too much longer. Um, like I said, we had another refrigerated truck parked in the backyard right next to the sandbox. We had our, our van and our other trailers parked over here. And every week, especially during Thanksgiving, we would just have a huge mound of garbage out front here by the mailboxes. We'd have all those aluminum, uh, all of those number 10 cans here with all of our pumpkin pie filling and our evaporated milk cans. And it would just be really embarrassing. This is a really great neighborhood, and our neighbors are, are just the best. They're so sweet, and, uh, and they loved pie, too, so it wasn't too hard to convince our neighbors to allow us to stay here for as long as we could. You know, we actually even had a semi-truck pulling up here down the side driveway off of Depot Street, and, you know, semi-trucks are not allowed here on these residential back streets in a small village that we live in here, so we were able to get them to pull in here. So. It was really a great spot, you know, to, to start a business out of your home. And the people that live here now, you know, I'm so happy to see that they love the house just as much as, as we did. They're, they're keeping such good care of the house, all the pretty flowers and the flags and everything, and that, that's really sweet and I'm really happy. So in another video, I'm going to talk to the new owners of this house and she's actually starting a chocolate business here out of the back uh, carriage house. And so she had told me last week that she had the city sewer and water hooked up to that back barn there. And she's going to have her little business out of the back here. What a, what a pleasure, what a convenience to be able to do something here out of your home. So she may be under the cottage food bill or she may choose to be inspected by the Department of Ag here in Michigan. You can sell up to $25,000 under the cottage food bill before you need to get licensed. Anything over in that, you need to go through uh, Department of Ag, you need to get inspected. So in 1993, when we wanted to bake a few pies here out of the house, we weren't sure legally if, if we could really do that. So uh, internet, 1993, so there wasn't much searching the internet to get information on, you know, asking Mr. Google Pants if you could bake pies out of your home legally and sell them at the farmers markets. So what I did is I went up to our village offices here in Armada and I did some research and I asked some questions and then I had to go in front of the council there with the village of Armada at the uh, at the monthly meeting and I had to ask uh, if I could indeed open up a food operation out of my home here in this residential area and um, you know they wanted they asked a lot of questions what are you going to be doing Wendy I'm going to be making apple pies out of my home how many are you going to be making okay and they said you know that that sounds great and it's it's okay here in our ordinances they were prepared they knew I was coming and they had a list of questions you know would you have semi trucks coming up and down the street like we talked about before and I said no they'll come through this other side here and so when I was at the board meeting, a lot of information was shared and one of the things that they said was that I could actually have a little sign out here in the yard and it could be so big, I think it was four feet by two feet, I could have the name of the business and people could come here to the house and buy pies. And that was allowed here in the village of Armada and I just remember at the time thinking I wasn't interested in having people pulling in and out of my driveway all day and night um, looking for pies here and I thought you know I needed to either set hours or just not have a sign out here at front not bring a whole lot of attention 
to ourselves here and you know I had told him no I, I think I'll decline with that but if you do want a pie please meet me out at the Armada Flea Market on Tuesday and Sunday or at the Farmers Market in Mount Clemens on Friday so there was other avenues for them to get a hold of a pie besides coming to my house. We have five kids they are out in the yard playing so I just wasn't interested in that at the time. We did however allow people to come to our house and pick up their holiday pies so uh, Thanksgiving time we were um, you know open for people to come and pick up their special orders that they had pre-ordered and they would call us and place their order. Um, I remember Easter here being really busy too so Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving, the big holidays like that but you know we realized soon on that we were gonna outgrow our little back room here at the house and we were we really started to bust at the seams. Like I said, our business was overflowing into the rest of the house. We had taken up all the space in our carriage house and we had a couple of trucks, like I said earlier, and it was just getting too big to stay here in our private residence. In 1995, we bought a 10 acre apple orchard just down the road here. Mr. Mahaffey was selling his orchard. He wasn't selling his orchard. I asked him if he was wanting to sell and he told me, yep. So in another video, I'll tell you all about how we came about moving out of here and onto our 10 acre apple orchard that we still own today. So thank you for joining me today on this magical history tour, the birthplace of Ackett's Handmade Pie Company. If you like this video, please hit subscribe, share it with a friend who may be interested in seeing it as well, and give me a thumbs up.